short and sweet. Under Create NURBS Primitives, I choose the plane. In the Attribute Editor, I select the Make NURB Plane tab and I increase the width. So just make it a little bit bigger. The resolution of the plane is determined by the patches in its both directions, U and V. Let's type in 4 for each. Now I duplicate, Ctrl D, the surface and add new materials to both of them. And sweet. I need to be under the modeling menu set on the top left to see the surfaces menu. Almost at the bottom of this long menu, I choose the option box of the rebuild surface command. Our surface has four by four patches, also called spans. Let's stick to this resolution four by four. What we change, however, is the degree in U and in V. U and V are the two dimensions of this surface. By default, it's three, which means cubic, which means NURBS, which means an elegant and soft flow of the surface once we deform it. We change the two parameters from three cubic to linear. Looks like nothing has changed with the blue surface. In fact, a lot has changed. I select the left surface, which is of cubic degree, a genuine NURBS topology. The key F8 takes me to the component selection mode. I select three random points. They're called CVs, by the way, or control vertices, and I move them up. We get three little hills with smooth tops and nice fall-offs to the ground. Typical for NURBS. Now I apply the same manipulation to the right surface. What a difference! This edgy, pokey behavior is typical for linear surfaces. Linear surfaces cannot have soft flows. They look like polygon surfaces, but they aren't. You can, for example, create such a linear surface as a loft between curves which you cannot do with polygon surfaces. Here's an example. A standard NURB surface would create a smooth flow through the middle curve. The linear surface does not know about smooth flows. Now let us undo the deformations and duplicate the first surface again and give it a yellowish color. I reset the option box of the rebuild command to its cubic default and just change a single parameter now, namely the degree in U, and I leave V as it was. And sweet. The hills look quite different now, round from one side and pokey from the other side, the U dimension. Showed. And so please do use the power of NURBS modeling for industrial design with its rich tools and elegance. And keep in mind that you can always change the topology of the surface from cubic to linear in both dimensions. Have a good day.